Welcome to the 4-1 Week. In this video series, we're going to go through an entire introduction course to Moodle. Moodle is an online classroom course you can use in your district or in your school. What this does is this allows you to do a lot of things you already do in your class on the computer anywhere that someone has internet access. You can do tests and surveys. You can have discussion boards and chat rooms. You can share links, documents, pictures, allow students to submit files, allow students to download files. It overall helps you and your students stay on track and keep up to date, ultimately saving time, paper, and frustration. Your school or district must have a specific URL in order to get into your Moodle classroom. So the link that you're seeing on my web browser will not be the same for yours, as well as the username and password. You must have a username and a password as well, as this gives you access to everything in your course. So when I log in, this is going to bring me to a login page for Moodle that lists all of my classrooms on, on this page. If I were to scroll down, this says these are classes listed in my school or district. So in this case, this lists all the schools in my district as well as what teachers are involved in those schools. Over on the left side in our navigation pane, I have a link that says My Courses. When I click on this arrow, this lists all the courses I am actively a member in. This can be a member as a student or as an instructor. So what I want to show in here is this Moodle intro course. This is a course I've created just for this YouTube series for uh, an introduction to Moodle. If you look on this page, I'm going to break down Moodle into three parts. On this left side, we have our navigation panel, but this also includes all of the settings and options that you're going to change throughout your page. In the middle, this is the main content of your page. As we scroll down, this is where all of our content is going to be. Now it's important to note as a teacher, you're going to see content that the students may not see and I'm going to show you how to get to that. And then on the right side of the screen, we have a bunch of blocks. This is what Moodle calls these. These are certain blocks with specific information. So I have one that allows a search, one for latest news, one for upcoming events, activities. You can see students and other instructors as they're online as well. 